Hello and welcome to the park. It's been a while since I actually did a normal playthrough of any game, so this is going to be a fun time for me. It came out on Steam yesterday. Let's play the dog wearing headphones. Check, check. Just so to some players. Okay, so word of warning to those who are sensitive. Um, be advised. So yeah, apparently you're a mom looking for your kid who ran into the steam park that was haunted and strange deaths, deaths happened, deaths, what the hell is deaths? Um, but yeah, um, so the park closed down because of that, it's kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's where, or the story at least, where uh, Freddy's closed down because of mysterious murders. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay. Um, but anyway, this game was made with the new Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 4. So, I'm pretty excited to see what this can do. Attention, Patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car the park at your earliest convenience. Employees, prepare is that the objective marker? Examine... Callum play. was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Okay, sh I wanna talk. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1977, James B. Longley, Atlantic Island Park. Hmm. Not creepy at all. Did you take drugs? I'm pretty sure you took drugs. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Okay, Don't so my name is Lorraine. Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Is it just me or, or does Lorraine's hips look super weird? Shout Callum, that's your son's name. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. This way. Wait for mommy, Callum. Reed Over flyer. Here. Oh, she even unlocked. Welcome to the park. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. This is way too much to read. This chipmunk, holy all he was scary in the in the um, opening picture. Does it look like a cheerful fellow? Atlantic Island Park, Nathaniel. Oh, that's Nathaniel Winters. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real move. world and the move. world of whimsy within. You've already shut up. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives, and on the other. Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. Where'd he go? I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. That's as ominous. Oh, come on, don't start now. I haven't played a horror game since Five Nights. Oh. Um, it suddenly became night and foggy. Okay, people, oh tell God. me now. The park. What the what hell happened, happened here? Like, it was normal a moment ago. What happened? Does th this remind anyone else of Left 4 Dead 2? Get back here! Come to mommy, Callum. No, don't go to the giant open clown mouth. No clown mouth. 
Oh no. What's that? Wait, Callum! Um, please sprint, your son is getting away. Dude, why would you run away from your mom at this time of the night? Shouldn't you be pissing your pants by now? I know I would have. Oh, great, the evil chipmunk. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Oh, I have to go towards the evil chipmunk. Examine shoe. I think this belongs to Callum. Ooh, look at it rotate. Meow. <laughs> I will break the game before this is over. <laughs> at least the eyes aren't red. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Okay, that's enough talking for you. Chad the chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in the daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. side show. I don't think this matters. What's this? Chad the chipmunk. Worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Good lord, that's a cheerful poem. Callum, come back here right now. This way, mommy. I wonder what this is. Purchase the island. Purchase the land of Solomon on Solomon Island for pittance. What's that noise? I feel like this might actually be important, so... For pittance, I might add whatever old... Archie! That's close to my name. Archie Hendris, Hen Henderson, what the hell? Did to the locals, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the... R reactor, what? They need to make this more clear. Still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this l land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts by warning me off. I have a great vision for this place and the will to see that the vision vision through to the end what the hell I'm having trouble reading Atlantic Island Park the name is perfect I cannot imagine it being anything else this is the start of something amazing okay so someone did evil things here and now the curse is carried over to Hello? the new owner who has nothing to do with it where is he I heard you laughing. Who was that? Chad? Come back, Callum. Callum! Where did you go? What? This is supposed to. Am I missing something? Callum, where are oh, you? Oh, it's down there, not in the thing. How do I get down there? Oh, there it is. This is sprinting? Callum, stay where you are. Where did you go? Oh, so I have to go in here. Ooh, I don't want... I really don't want to ride this thing. Okay, here goes. Wish me... Wish me no death, people. Uh. Come back. Callum? Why would you chase him on this swan, though? Can't you just wait until he loops back around to the entrance? Seems like the logical thing to me. Alan, why did you go? Alan, why did you go? Nice echoing effects. Very nice touch, Divs. The hell are those? Are those lights? Oh, Near they are lights. In the great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor, and had very little to bite or sup. Answer and Gretel? What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. 
I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. What was that? Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. That's someone over there? Oh, it's the, the morning, evil the chipmunk. Leads the children into the forest. Before moving. they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food. Ah! Go away! No! Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. Why? When their father leaves, no, no, no. The children wait a while, then follow the trail back Fuck. to their parents' house. What? Um. She will unlock Chad. A scolding from um. their parents for getting lost in the woods. The children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was okay. locked. You can jump scare Tomorrow me. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself. The wife told the woodcutter. That was a very subtle jump scare. But I think that's all of these stories. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. I heard that. What's making that noise? Hansel broke his bread What's into doing pieces that? and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds oh no, I'm snatched really up the breadcrumbs and his trail this game. was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Something's gonna jump out of me, I know it. Just do it already! I hate the suspense! The children the fuck are you, Chad! ...with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. They can't just read. I don't think they randomly put it in the story of Hansel and Gretel. There has to be a point to it. Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. One of them of their cruel mother. For you. The old woman Is offered it them two enormous Finish lollipops. talking, please? The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. So, your son. Oh! Once inside the house, What's that? The um. I know I saw something there. She it's glowing. There, there, there. What's that on screen? Oh, no. I was, can I move, shift, anything? Cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. 
Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. How's that a children's story, though? Anyway, if they're showing a... And then, oh, come because on. even children what? can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch What? ate her. I'm pretty sure that's not canon for Hansel and Gretel. Um, okay, that, that last part kind of caught me by surprise. But... Oh my fuck! Yay. This is not healthy. Off, off, off. Take it off. Okay, um, I had to pause the game for a bit and get the lights on in my room because I won't be able to handle this game. Callum, stay where you are. I, that was creepy enough on its own and it's not even, look, a blood. What was that? That was creepy enough on its own. And it's not even five minutes or twenty minutes into the game. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. I'm beginning to wonder, maybe that Hansel and Gretel was, like she just said, maybe she was the mother in the story instead of the sister and Another Callum. Accident. This place. And Callum was the son. Maybe that's why he ran away. Not because he wanted to find, um... <laughs> that was unnecessary! That was really unnecessary! Despite the constant... Hey. Despite the constant interruptions at work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is what is whether we will have any customers. I'm not really worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deducted that what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. You could barely even see the full stop there. He said, "It's astonishing to think that." A resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon, I will know if this has all been for nothing. That Callum's teddy bear with a knife in its eye. Can, can I go get it? But yeah, maybe um, Callum ran away not because he wanted to find his teddy bear maybe he wanted to get away from his from um from his mother and the park was his little house of candies twisted as it was i thought that bush was something creeping up on me <laughs> cheap little jump scare wouldn't get me with that what's this come out sweetie <laughs> where are you is he torturing me? Okay, no, this, this, this just went into the exorcist territory. Wait for mommy. Catch me, mommy. If I could see you, Callum, then I will catch Come you. Out, sweetie. This way, mommy. Nope, this is definitely a trap. Don't hide from me, Callum. 
I have to go on here, don't I? Wait, Callum. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. What happened? Eyewitness report. Atlantic Island Park incident. Officer on duty, Sheriff F. Benneman. With his name, Creed Norman. Statement. We were waiting for our turn on the right, Frank. Me and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They gave me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the, at the ice. And at first, we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or lion. But the more the fell away, ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a human face smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a little bit faster. Like you were, like you were prey that was... And the thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit and then Wally went berserk. For a moment it was chaos. Everyone was running away from the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab, stab, stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I and had the kids and we were dragging him away as far as we could. That's bloody brutal. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture making a horrible creature look more or less alive. I'm gonna meet the ice sculpture, aren't I? Wait, is that what this is? Is this pieces of ice? I thought it was garbage. But then, what can I do here? Uh... Do I have to go on this? Oh, God, he's in something. I have to go on this. Stop! Kill him! Two of them. Let's examine the reports. Oh, I remember this. Family ties. Achievement unlocked. She does not look impressed. Yeah, look at that. She's just gripping him. She's forcing him to be there. Okay. So Where I might be you? right. Shad! You! I can't get on while it's moving. Why would you want to get on though? How do you would how would you get off? Like who would stop the thing? This has been on for I don't know how long now, hasn't it? Just looking out for Chad. So somewhere here, someone was carving the ice sculpture. Let's keep an eye out for that thing then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is a bit fast, isn't it? Considering the engine is, creep is, is freaking out. I don't see anything yet. Oh my fuck, what the- Hi there, sir! How are you doing? That is a very nice smile you have. Might I recommend Colgate? Is that Archie? That um, or Archie? I'm just gonna call him it. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not into murdering kids. That's Archie, not me. You, Archie, my evil twin. This ice wasn't here, was it?
Increase all of the speed! Okay then. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. So that's the murderer? Or the one that set up all the murders? But treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled red balling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Where are you? You ditched me. Stop, Callum! Do I have to... Oh, catch you. I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun, but the end of the season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around, and most of the staff spend their days standing and gossip around and gossiping. Most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean, Steve, see? Even I am starting to call him Chad and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush as Chad, the chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot at Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell, and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winter, the owner, one day. But nothing seems to have changed. The suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks by, and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last, since last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the Soquel station because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture. The shapes he makes in the ice though, they give me the creeps. Steve came by the booth today, lucky me, and he just hung around for a while. I couldn't really tell because of the suit, but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye fucking me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor and he came by. Chad, Steve, wandered off. My su supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Henman. <laughs> ah! Don't do that! Callum, tell mommy where you are. This way, mommy. Yeah, anywhere, anywhere but this place. Was that the woman that was, or the person that was in this, um, in the notes? She was, was she murdered by, by, by Chad or, or Steve? Okay, I think this is as good a place as any to leave off. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little release of the park. And yeah, if you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And of course, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Okay. I'm waiting to one second again because that's worked last time. One second, one second. Five, four.